Right, good afternoon. It's uh, already, uh, I've already started, as you can see behind me. Uh, I wasn't going to film this, if I'm honest, because I just want to crack on with it. Uh, but I thought, you know what? We've hit 1,000 subscribers now, or we did two days ago. So thank you very much to everybody that might be watching this that has already subscribed. So thank you from everyone here. Mick, Mark, Adam and me. Thank you very much. So what I might do, I'm going to film now. I'm just going to talk you what I've already done and then show you where I am going next. And then I'll put a bit of footage on because it seems a shame not to film it because it is one of my favourite things is stairs as well as lofts and as well as well, anything wood really. So let me talk you through and then we'll see where we go next. So those of you might remember, uh, we've got this, this scenario at the bottom where we've got the brick wall. So all I've done is I cut a piece of timber, first of all, and dropped it on top of the brickwork. That's screwed into there, that's screwed into there, that's screwed into there, and then screwed into the string on the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. I put blocking at the bottom there and that's all screwed into the brickwork. And then what I've done is I've got my post, cut it, took that one out, cut it down to 90 mil, or cut it the remainder of 90 mil, because it's about a five, six by two there, and then fitted that in there like that. All I've done there is I've, I've drilled this, that not so much because this is going to be painted, but this will be painted, but you'll probably see it a lot more. Um, I've just cut that ready so I can put a, a wooden pellet in there. And that's what I should do with all of it, any of the main stuff, like I've done that one, I've put wooden pellets in there. Like I said, I'll fix the structure to the string all the way up, so that'll be when that's painted in. And then we've, what we've done then is we've fixed, use this window board. So when it is plastered, the plaster will be dabbed onto here come up to the underside of this here and then skimmed in and of course that can be finished so I've returned that all the way down there like that then what we did was to follow this line here I've then kept the same margin all the way up and then return that and then we've put just to make these stop chamfered uh, posts and spindles I've just put a, a stop chamfer on there then as well but I might actually get my router because I measure 100 mil from there to there and from there to there I might whatever that distance is which looks about 50 mil I might continue that a little bit more. I'll probably get that with my just about. A little Milwaukee palm out you've seen me use multiple times on the channel. I'll increase that to there. So, that's done. I'm going to let all that glue all go off now. This is all solid. That's all fixed. So, it's all been fixed with the uh, sticks like, which I like to use. And that's solid, but I don't want to mess with it now. So, I'll leave that. Now, you also may remember that when Matt bonded and skimmed this for us, in fact, let me come back a little bit, he left all this high. So all I'm doing now is I've got myself a an average and I've found my high spot on the floorboards. I'm now going to level all this through now, and then, which I've started to do. I've leveled the line through. I've run my multit all the way through now. And then we've got another piece of window board that I'll put on top of here uh, and then pack it level and then screw through into this brickwork and into this... Uh, this floorboard, so now there's nothing under there. I know there's a cable there, but that's it. So I know that full well, where the pipes are, because we put all these back down again. All I'm going to do to get some structure is I'm going to put my post in there. So I should cut this out, remove this floorboard, because I know I can get that one out, because I've screwed that one, and see where I can put my structure. And then what I'll probably do is use an L bracket or something on the bottom, just to uh, fix that into the brick. Uh, but I'll have a look at that. I'll, I'll, looks like I'm going to have a full, a full stringer there to fix onto because um, I want to try and pull it over a little bit so we're not quite banging there. I'll try and get to the centre of that if I can. So I may just put a, a slither of timber or some packers down there, but I have got some uh, some five-inch spack screws I can use for that anyway. And again, likewise, I shall pellet them anyway, so I'll have that extra 10, 15 mil or so. So I'll crack on with that. I'll cut this out, and then I'll show you what I'm doing next. All I will quickly say about this, if you are doing this, once you've got your level line on, because this is a great idea, because we'll just cork back under that now. Um, and then we, we, left, we this wall can remain finished, other than a, a bit of a touch-up. But um, score the edge first with your mortar tool, and then break through, because when it's bonded, especially skimmed, it will find its own line. And if you haven't scored it, you can end up cracking it down here. Um, it's put too much pressure on. So that's all, like so that's all cut now, all the way through. I'll have a look at any high spots. I'll put my level across here now. Get any high spots knocked off with a bit of compo beds there, which they may help me actually when I come to uh, come to drill it down anyway. Because like I say, it is a window board. Um, so, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. But I want to get this post in first and then cut the window board around this post, run it all the way through. Likewise, I've done to this. i put this on first, cut that onto that so I can get my cut all nice and tidy around there. Base rail goes up to that and obviously hand rail comes off this. So there we are. 
So all I'll do, put my, uh, and I'll put my, like I just said, window board on there. Um, and then uh, I'll have the ball nose over this side, square it to this point again, put a stop, probably put a stop chamfer on. So there we are then. I shall carry on with that. I'll clean this off, check my high spots, and then we'll look at uh, digging this post out. I keep forgetting we've got pair on now. Filming in, in the dark, and we've got a bloody pair on. So, okay, what I've done is I've exposed this now. That was, luckily that was one piece, so that was fine, and this was loose anyway, so that's great. So what I've got there is now, I've got solid, t solid brickwork there. I've got more than enough there to get my post in. I've cut that back so I can get right to this, uh, this trimmer, which is on the, for the stairs. I'm gonna go right down to that brickwork, and then rather than put a, uh, sorry, what I'm gonna do is, as I said, I'm gonna bracket in there. I've got some big sort of strong, sort of two inch, two inch brackets just to hold that. And then what I'm gonna do is I think I'll put a timber in here against the side of the uh, the newel once it's solid and then just concrete fix that or screw that into there. Probably screw actually because I've concrete because I'll probably split that and I don't want to disturb all this. Uh, right then, so I'll put a timber in there and then give it just go some more structure and I may, in fact I will, I'll put a timber in there as well like a noggin, skew screw into there and skew screw into the side of this just to make it solid all, on all four corners so I can get screwing glue into there, screwing glue into here. Oh, can I? Oh, actually. Okay, I might just about get into this side because that looks about 70 mil there, so I might just about get in there. Or oh, I could pack that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'll get on with that. I'm going to put my post in, get myself a height, uh, and cut it to my height. And then, which down there, I did a metre off the off that point there, up a metre up there. So when I put my iron on, there's a there's um about sort of 50 mil or so or 100 mil sorry above the handrail as it looks quite tidy something to hang your coats on so i'll do that then get my post set and then uh, we'll look at putting the structure into it right all i'm going to do now is i've turned my post round i like to leave the main body of the the new post on the top because i think it looks better with a bit of thickness at the top especially with the stop chamfered on because there's a, this amount of um, stuff we've got there to cut off um, so what I'm going to do now is, because I'm going to be putting a voice up spout I'm putting the window board on here, which is floorboard level, and then that's 25 mil thick. So what I'll do now is, because I said I want a meter, I'm just going to measure up now, off there, a meter and 25, which is my meter I want finished, um, meter I want finished to the top of the cut post. And then the 25 mil, 25, um, 25 mil uh, window board. Can't get my words out, can I? So that's what I'll do now. I'll cut that off. I'll turn this over. Drop it in the hole. Get it all um, levelled with some some packers first of all, just to get myself set. Then I can glue it and start looking at how to put my structure back in. Got myself set up now. That's all cut to size. I've got a big bracket there, which I said I've got. A three inch by three inch be two inch that is um, and then I've put my packers in I mean nothing's up right is it that trim out was like that so I've had to pack that and all I've done then is I've put my packers in and I've uh, pinned those in with my uh, 23 gauge so at least when I put it back I know I'm good what I can do now is I can fix my um, fix this bracket that's already screwed to the post uh, and flat I can now fix that to the brickwork and then, um, or so, drill my holes in the brickwork, and then I can take this off. I've already marked my line up there, and because I've fit, pinned my wedge, it should go back in the same place. So I shall put my glue on there, identify the areas I can screw into, uh, and then I will get this fixed. And like I said to you, I shall cut some timber, which I've got on the front, piece in there, piece in there, that'll be solid. Then I can put these floorboards back and start setting my window board on, which is out there, ready to go.
block hiding so that's all done so it's got three good fixings down to there in fact if I come back and see better three good fixings in there I'll put two uh, 120 mil uh, number six or number is it number six now or number five anyway number 12 number 12 it used to be the old-fashioned 120 mil 12s in there and one in there as well got that back I'll put two in there put the wedges in and loads of glue um, so that is I mean I, I won't whip it there because I want the glue to set but that is solid um, so I'll put this structure back now and we'll start cutting the um, window board around here and then I can get my half null on and that should finish my day off then because now the customers in here now um, obviously it changes the how much we get done because uh, we need to make sure that we 100% cleared up nothing on the on the floor that the little ones can tread on so we'll just make sure it's all nice and tidy for them uh, let as less stress as possible for them but uh, we'll get done what we can get done oh yeah I forgot to mention with the structure I've got there now there's no way that's moving no way on this earth not when the floorboards are back around it and the uh, window boards fixed around it as well so I'm not going to put any timber in there because it's I, what I'm really worried about split, uh, splitting this brick if I'm honest if I split that brick and it disturbs all this I'm in trouble so and what I don't want to do with this is force the timber in there and then force this outer square because um, because I got my packer in there to get the twist out of it and to pull it over because this string gap just fall over that way a little bit I don't want to risk knocking this out of square um, so that's why I'm not doing that that's why I've changed my mind but I'm more than happy with the structure of that and as I like to say I'm happy with it I'll do it in my house so there we are uh, couldn't help myself plus it gives me that as well I've glued it and screwed it and that'll go in there back in there as well nice and tidy and this one will come through to there and it'll all be covered by the uh, window board so there we are Good morning, back at the loft. So I need to uh, go through a couple of things to catch up on what I didn't film yesterday just because the customer come back. I'll turn you around now and we'll just see where I am when I finished last night. So as you can see, I got this, all this, you knew this, see all this all fixed in. Um, all I did then was I cut this, this window board, cut it all around the, around there like that. Then I've put a chamfer on there. And what happened then is, what I quite like with these is you can then put the carpet up against that and it, it's sort of there or thereabouts flush which looks quite nice and as you know we've got a lot of mess there to to cover in um, I'll finish that out so that um, skirting board now can be cut and I'll put that over the top of there and then against the side of the half mule which will go on here and that's that, that, that all this glue can be cut off now and we can find surface fill of that bit back in but that as you can see um, will just be corked under the side of there now so that was quite tidy it's that little bit which I'll probably put some expansion foam in there and then um, fill that in there to sort that out the only thing I've got to do now is because of I like to I think I've already mentioned it, I like to keep my um, nail post at a metre I just think it looks a bit nicer um, so you can do things like that and put your coat on it um, keep looking at me he does it's upsetting me a little bit so all I'll do is I'll cut the chamfer on the back of that now because we've decided we want to keep them all the same and we don't want to cut them down uh, and I say we to me and the customer so we're going to cut that at an angle to match the angle of that and then I should be able to get the newel cap um, on the face of that but cut at an angle so we can maintain the metre which we all quite like so I should do that crack on today get this um, get that glued I, I uh, I said yesterday I wanted to leave these, I haven't done any hand rails this because I want to leave them to all to go off and these are these are ridiculously solid now, they're going nowhere and then what we'll do is we'll move on to this one and this one will be, um, I shall probably cut, well I will, cut this back this, oh let me get in focus, cut that back so when I put my 90mm um, on, because I've got to I've got to match that one up there as you can see it goes into the centre so what I'll do is I shall machine, machine this one over the top the same but of course we don't want to see this so um, I shall make sure that my little bit of a pack we put in there which I think in fact now we didn't this side did we so I'll have to check that screw out that one in there you can see and then I'll cut this cut this back to about 70 mil maybe um, off, off the, the riser cut that down and then I'll machine the new post over the top of that cut this nose and out so we can go against the face of that 
that uh, riser and that will look the same as that one when it's machined over. Right, I just thought I'd get that um, last bit of skirt on down there before I carry on. It's another job done. That just needs corking in now. That's all pinned and glued. That's all I left off so I could finish it nice against the half mule. So that's on now. And then, like I said, we're keeping the height. That's a bit of a flat bit there, if I show you from this angle. Bit of a flat bit there. And then I'll cut the null, the null cap to suit that now because that's what we uh, that's what we wanted. We didn't want to decrease this too much and end up with a bit of a little bit above the, well, the handrail because it just looks rubbish. Plus it'll now match that one and it'll match the ones downstairs and then ultimately match this as well. So we're going to move on now. I've already discussed it at, at uh, not at length, but all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut that back about 60mm. I've decided to do 60mm from the riser to there, cut it back nice and plumb, and then cut my uh, newel post over the top of that. So let's get on with that one. cut off that was a packer if you remember if you watched the stairs video that's the packers we put in to make it level um, so that one there's one under there still so I'll leave that one we put a floorboard screw in there and I, I couldn't get it out I think it must be full of plaster so I've had to smash it off but there we are so now I've done that what I'll do in there is I'll get my um, combination square if I can find it here somewhere and um, and then set this on my newel post to be centre uh, what I'll do first though is like I did downstairs, I'll get my height of my null and cut that off first and then I can bring it up, level it in and just in case this is twisted or whatever, which it might be, um, I'll level my post um, and then I'll mark this in here and then what I'll do then is I'll leave the lines in. Um, so what I'll do then is I'll, I'll take the lines and then I'll, I'll try it on and just make sure it's, it's friction fit but not, not hammer it on because what I don't want to do is, is damage anything or move anything. Um, and once I've got that, I'll put it in here, I'll get the multi-tool in, against there, multi-tool that out, and then take that bit of uh, the note, the end off that, uh, that tread. And then it'll get glued and screwed into here, then nice and solid. And then we'll talk about what I'm going to do at the top of the stairs. Post cut, all I did was I measured off the front of your nose, and you should always measure off your nosing right at the front to get your 900 minimum for your handrail. And I'll cut mine at a metre, I mentioned it a few times because I like it a bit here. Put the handrail on, it looks better, I think, in my opinion. So, all I'll do now is a combination square, just put it against there now, stick it on there. Now, that isn't centre because that side, if I just show you, isn't centre. So this stringer is in centre, which is why what I'll do now is I shall mark a line on this side with this that I've just set and then level it and make sure my lines are right. So that's why I do that and don't just go full on centre because generally nine times out of ten that is in centre. <laughs>
I've got some, I've got these um, wedges that I've had for a long time now. They're like a plastic wedge. Oh, two different sizes. Because in a, this is sitting like that, and I can't really hold it and screw it and things, I'll just tap a couple of wedges on this side just to force it over that way a little bit, and then I can um, get my lines on. This is why it's good to use them little wedges because you can just tap it and adjust it a little bit and when you're on your own it's easier. Right, that is near as damn it. Okay, so you can't see it better on the camera but if I just do that now, my mark that I put on it is at the bottom, I know that. So if I just do that now, mark the top. If I can get my pencil on the inside, which I can just a bit, I think. I might just have to do that. See that now? There's two lines on there. One's been obscured by the grain, so let me get my, my pencil and point it out to you. So the line that I originally drew with this is there, look. Just it's that one there. But the one I've just put on now is there. So I'd have been fighting with this then to try and get it upright if I'd have cut it lovely and parallel to this face because it, I'd have been trying to fight to get that over. Now that's fixed, manufactured, I can't do nothing about that. So there's no point trying to fight with it. So what I'll do now is I shall measure 60 mil deep now down there, get my um, circular saw out and then I'll cut following that line at about a 62 mil depth, allowing enough for me to get some glue in the back of it. Uh, on that face there um, and then we'll uh, slot it over the top so I should go and do that and then we'll come back and try it and see how we got on